Have a wonderful day, Jason. Ah! Delta 2 will be stepping on the vehicle. I have a, a guy here at 872 trying to break him into the Bay Park Gate, uh, West Park. Mike 2, Delta 1. Hey guys, I had somebody ask me a question and I thought it was a really good question so I figured I'd make a video about it and talk about it. They asked, what do you do in a stare down situation? Uh, you're going to come, come across it pretty frequently in the field of security. You're, you're going to have heated exchanges where uh, the subject that you're dealing with stares you down. So understanding what's happening when somebody stares you down is key. One of the other things I want you guys to take notice during this video, and I know this is just a, a, a quick little uh, segment within the video here, but take notice of where my partner's standing when we're dealing with this guy. I know there's no audio for it, but and that'll be in a future video, but for now, take notice of where my partner is in relation to the subject that I'm dealing with, and notice how he keeps repositioning himself to be in that specific spot. So just take notice of that while we're going through this. When somebody's staring you down, you're in survival mode. The only thing your brain can process when you're in survival mode is whether you fight or flight. So when somebody's staring you down, their brain is trying to process whether they're gonna fight you or they're gonna take off. So what you need to do in that situation, when you have somebody staring you down, you need to break that thought process, okay? And there's a few different ways you can do that. You can use humor, you can use, God, usually I use humor. That's just the kind of person I am. Uh, I get called so many different friggin' names, it, it, it's unreal, but it's because I make light of situations. Uh, where other people tend to take things as an insult and cause a, heat, uh, a situation to be more heated than it needs to be. So for example, if I'm in a, in a situation where I'm being stared down, the one thing you don't really wanna do is engage them in a stare down. Okay, there, there's, that, that's one way of dealing with it. I've seen some people do it and I've, I've even done it a couple times where you just stare right back at them. Okay, and you make them break first. The danger with that is if you look away first or if you look down or you break eye contact, you've shown weakness and you don't want that, okay? It's the same way that dogs interact. They have that, that dominance factor, right? They need to establish who's on top and, and who's the, the submissive one. So I, I wouldn't advise using the stare down. Uh, it's, it's right on the lowest part of the totem pole for me for tactics that I would use in that situation. Uh, the other option is that I've used many times, uh, and again, I get I get called names under the, all the names under the sun for for doing it. Um, they're staring you down, blow them a fucking kiss. Yeah, it's weird, but it friggin' works. You know they're gonna call you a goof or whatever. The sky's the limit. They're gonna call you fucking everything, but you, you can't take it to heart. You're gonna get called a lot of names in security. Yeah, you can so blow them a kiss. You know, break that thought process doing that. The best tactic to use, or the best line to use when you're in a stare down situation, you know, you're in the middle of that stare down, whether you're, you know, male, female, doesn't matter who you are. Uh, they're staring you down and just say, man, I'm flattered that you enjoy staring at me, but I got somewhere to be. So unless you plan on proposing, you got to keep moving. Let's go. It doesn't matter what you say. Say something that's going to break that thought process. Get them out of that idea that they're going to fight, right? You, you want the, you want to break that process any way you can. Get them moving and... On to the next situation. Okay, uh, it brings me to something else. So when you're dealing with a situation like that, once they've turned their back and they've retreated, you've won. That's it. Don't fucking say anything else. Don't do not do anything to antagonize them that's going to cause them to turn around and come back at you. Okay, let them go. The minute they turn their back and start walking away, leave it alone. You've won. Don't fucking say anything because I've seen too many situations where you've had, or where I've had guards, you know, they have to have that last word in there because well, as the guy was turning his back, walking away, called him a fucking goof and he had to have his final word. And then the guy turned around, came back and the fight happened, right? Once they turn their back and walk away, you've won. Leave it at that. Don't fucking say a word. It's too many times I've seen that happen. I had one situation where I pulled up on the guard and he was having an argument with a male and a female that were trespassing on the property. And they were right in each other's face. So I got out of the car, I separated them. Uh, you know, I told him to calm down and told the guy to calm down. You know, I, I kind of heard both sides of the story and I basically, you know, the security guard was in the wrong. Uh, the way that he was engaging with them, he, he came out with his, you know, chest puffed out and being a dick and they got in his face and, you know, shit got out of hand. But when I got there and separated them, I talked to them, I uh, managed to get the guy calmed down. 
I, you know, I said, you know, I'm sorry for, you know, how, how that was dealt, but, you know, let's just leave it at that now, go our separate ways, you go that way, he goes this way, and just, you know, go on with our nights, and, you know, he was all compliant, he was like, yeah, you know what, that's fair, you know, I apologize, blah, 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 and he starts walking away, but then the security guard goes, yeah, don't fucking come back here ever again, buddy fucking turns around, they start going at it, like, seriously, why did you need to throw in those extra fucking words? You did, you, he was walking away. The situation was done. You're an idiot. Just keep that in mind anytime you come, you're dealing with these types of situations. End of rant. I got plenty of videos that'll be coming out in the next few weeks. Episode two will be coming out at the end of the month. In between the episodes, I'll be uh, releasing these five, 10 minute clips, uh, little lessons, insights, things like that. Uh, keep you guys engaged on the channel. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you can be notified of any videos I post up in the future. And don't forget to stay safe and don't be a dick.